Hi, this is a video explanation for assignment four, Pitch to Industry for 2685. So this is a group assignment uh, and you'll work in the same group as uh, the people that you've done for assignment two, which is the background briefing paper. Um, and it links to that assignment. So the uh, assignment two is a written um, preparation, if you like, of the, of the contents of the uh, presentation that you'll do in assignment four. So you need to address the same topic and you need to uh, continue on with what you initially wrote in that uh, second assignment. And for assignment four, you're going to present uh, via a recorded video on your progress and your uh, imagined solution to the wicked problem. And you're going to imagine you're presenting to your industry partner. So you have to, uh, again, stick with the wicked problem that you've chosen for assignment two. Um, and, and in that assignment, you also imagined your um, industry partner that you would send that report, uh, your, sorry, your background briefing paper to. Uh, and this is the presentation to that industry partner. So keeping everything the same across the two assignments. So for this uh, pitch, you are kind of presenting your thinking um, and uh, what you would uh, propose as a solution to the wicked problem. So um, what would you be doing? How would you imagine that you would solve this problem or at least provide some kind of solution to the wicked problem? Uh, and what would be your great new idea? Um, so this pitch is uh, pre-recorded. Um, you would use um, something like Teams, um, and I suggest Teams because you have free access to that as a student at RMIT. And Teams, you can, uh, one person can do the share screen function um, so that you can see your slides, um, but you can also see each of your faces on the screen as well. And the whole thing, if you press record, then becomes a video file that you can uh, then use for your assignment. You are welcome to use other video conferencing tools as well, as long as they have a recordable function and that there's a way to um, have that as a file um, for the assignment. So the important thing about the uh, constructing your presentation is to read through the instructions in the Canvas site and see that there are sections that we would like you to speak to and there are three sections uh, and again connect it to the initial ideas you were talking about in your background briefing paper. So the first section is the initial ideas about the wicked problem um, and uh, how you approached it. Did you brainstorm? Did you hold discussions? Um, what were the early bits of research you undertook to find out more about the wicked problem that you chose? So these are the things where you actually explain your process um, to, the, to the audience. Um, how did you hit on your proposed solution? What did you do? Did you have discussions? Did you do a bit more research? Did you do some um, prototyping, for example? What was some of the work that you did as a group to actually realize your possible solution? And then you need to present on the final solution. What is it exactly that you're proposing? How would it work? What would it look like? How would it be um, present in the, um, in the, um, space of your uh, industry partner how how would it be actually uh, present in that in that space so that might mean if your industry partner is um, an early childhood uh, provider how would it be present in that in that provision if it's something like uh, an IT company how would it be present in the IT company and so on so how does it fit into the industry partners um, kind of presence in their workspace? Um, and I advise that you record using a script. It can be a little bit nerve wracking to, uh, to ensure you say all the right things. The other, the other 
The other uh, restriction you have is that your video must not be more than five minutes long. So it's really important that you rehearse. Uh, you may need to do a few tries. You, if you look in the rubric, you can be penalized marks for being longer than five minutes. So it's very important that your video is no longer than five minutes. So uh, rehearse what you're going to say, who is going to say what, um, and how you actually get to address the three sections. Uh, think about the clarity of your slides. Um, don't force the audience to make a decision to have to listen to you or read the slides, okay? So if you have lots of written information on the slides, then the, the audience can't listen to you speak. Uh, they need to make a decision as to what they, what they pay attention to. So my advice is to uh, privilege your spoken voice and actually just have slides that are really informative with visuals and just a small amount of text. Make sure they're very clear. Make sure they correlate with what you're talking about. So make sure they uh, line up with the topic. Um, and um, my advice is don't use lots and lots of um, uh, web clipped uh, images. It just looks really false. So try and make your own images, take your own photos, Put yourself in the photos, show that it's an authentic work in process, okay? So don't just use like, um, yeah, things that you've grabbed off Google Images or whatever. It's, it's just not very authentic. Um, and uh, try and make sure that your voices are clear um, and that your pace is good. Don't speak too quickly. It's very hard to understand sometimes when people do that. Um, and don't... Uh, do expect, I should say, do expect to perhaps do one or two recordings before you're happy with the one you want to use. Most important thing is you won't be able to upload the whole file into um, the assignment center and that is because uh, it's too big. So you'll see that the function you have is to submit a URL link. So make uh, sure that your video is available via a URL so that the tutor who is marking your work can actually just click on the URL and see your video and that it's it's accessible to them. All right. Um, so uh, make sure it's the URL to the file that you submit to um, to the assignment center.